Hello everyone, I wanted to do a project share with you. This is a, another Halloween journal that I've made. This one is a uh, ring bound journal and I used um, Tim Holtz, it's a Tim Holtz punch for the for the binder rings. And um, the paper collection is The Spider's Web by My Mind's Eye. I saw it online and I just, I really had to use it. So. Um, this is what I came up with and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm just going to go ahead and do a flip through. I also wanted to, um, this is also a Genevieve Designs design team project and I use the, what is it? The Top Note album printable. And so um, I printed on the paper. I cut it down to size and I printed on it. Um, and then I cut it all out and I used it for, um, I turned it into a journal. So it's like a journal album hybrid. I like to do those a lot lately. So um, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys. I will also have the link to the tutorial for her that she's made below. And I will also have a link to her channel if you want to go check out some of her new stuff. Because she's made a lot of new stuff lately. And um, I am looking forward to working with that stuff. That stuff looks awesome. And I really love how this turned out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And it is a magnet closure. And I just used the Tim Holtz hardware die. And here I've uh, gone a little magnet crazy and used a lot of magnets for stuff throughout this journal. So that's just magnetized and it clicks right back on there. And then there's a magnet on the back for a tag. So that tag clips right on. And then there is a tuck spot here. It just tucks right in. And this kind of holds it closed, so I'm going to go ahead and flip that open. And I just have some cutouts of ephemera from my stash. Oh, and when I didn't have enough paper, what I did was I, um, because there was only, I think there was like 9 or to 12 sheets of paper in there, 12 by 12s, what I did was I scanned them into my computer and then I printed them out the ones that I wanted to use and then um, then again I printed the top note design onto them how I, um, in the order that I wanted to use them. And what's cool about scanning them into your computer is that once you do that, like say I wanted for some weird reason I wanted spots and stripes. Well I could do, I could basically layer this one onto this one. I would just basically print over it and so I didn't do that even though I wanted to um, but I thought it was a cool idea. So I have some coffee dyed pages in here. I did some printing with some stamps that I got from Crafty Irina. Hi Irene. Hi Anna. And so I put some of those stamps on here. And I also used some other stamps that she sent me. This cute little kitty one. Love that. And these are the tags that I made in the stamping video that I did. This is some more of the paper that Irene sent to me. It's just, um, gosh, I don't know, it's, uh, craft paper, like, not thick craft paper, it's like paper, uh, light, it's lighter weight for sure, but I love it, it's, uh, perfect. So I did some stamping up there as well. And down here, yeah, there's just various, uh, stamping throughout, so. And I have some more cutouts from my stash. And put some more tags in there. And here's a little envelope that's clipped onto the side. Just have some more stuff clipped in or um, put in there. Some more ephemera. I love this pumpkin page. It's my favorite. 
And there's a top loading part and it's got a couple of tags inside. And then I just clipped on some ephemera. Then I made some coffee dyed index cards and tags that I had um, die cut and stamped on. And here is another um, stamp that I got from Irene. Too cute. I love that. And coffee dyed envelope. I just put a large tag in here. And that was with the paper collection and I just cut it out and or um, distressed the edges and then just made it into a tuck spot. And then here's another magnet area for like I guess if I wanted to take this little tag could put it on there or over here. So I've added a lot of, uh, or a few paces, I guess I wouldn't say a lot, but magnet places. And then here is a pocket up here. Just have a couple of tags inside. Side load side loading pocket. Just have some ephemera in there. And here's another magnet spot. There's two spaces. So that'll stick here and here. Smell paper for my ring. And then here's a large envelope. And then here's one of the envelopes that I made. And I just put um, an index card inside. Some more stamping. There is a side loading pocket here. Oops. Tag. Another pocket. And I have some tags in here. And another larger tag with another stamp that I got from Irene. And here is a tuck spot. I used with um, some paper from the from the collection. Another pocket. 
some tags. And that's the back. So I had a lot of fun with this journal. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.